Hey guys, so this is the confessions of a beauty youtuber slash guru tag and I saw that a love tart or Mary did this and I love the tag and I want to do it myself and I'm actually reading the questions from her video description. Um, so number one, how many hours a week do you spend filming slash editing videos? I would say the average video um, takes about three hours um, including importing exporting editing uploading actual filming um and it doesn't seem like it i mean it's like a 10 minute video are you a spender or a saver and i'm definitely a saver i love those deal sites like groupon and living social and ebates and hot look i just love those flash sale sites they always get me um and I just love saving money. I mean, who doesn't? And with Ebates, like, you get money back from your purchases, which is amazing. Um, so I always, I love that. I'm a kind of a sucker for, like, blog sales and flash sales. So I definitely love saving money. And I have a handful of times done, like, couponing in a supermarket where I saw that there was a sale and I used a coupon and I've done that on makeup sometimes so um, yeah definitely a saver number three when is it easiest for you to film and this is a funny question because I do get those comments like that my lighting sucks and all I can say is that I film at night that is when it's easiest for me to film because that's when I'm home. Um, I mean, I work, I used to go to school, I used to, you know, be a full-time student and a part-time employee, so, and now I work full-time, so it's, I'm home only in the evening time and, like, early in the morning, and I cannot film early in the morning because I get, you know, grumpy, um, because I haven't had breakfast, so I try to have a good meal, um, when I get home, and then kind of pump up my energy a little bit so that I can film and be happy and not hungry and grumpy um, number four what makes it what makes talking in front of the camera comfortable for you and at first um, when I was starting out making videos I was really self-conscious in terms of my parents walking by my room and hearing me talk to myself and I'm pretty sure if somebody was watching me right now talking into this camera they would be like what are you doing? Um, but I don't see it that way. I mean, I look into this lens and I feel like, I mean, that that's how I talk. Like, I'm talking to you guys. I'm talking to my viewers. And that's what makes it comfortable for me because I love doing this. It's what I'm passionate about. And I love making videos and I love sharing with you guys, like, various things that I find, my opinions on things and in terms of like reviews and tutorials and hauls and all of that. I mean, I love doing this. So that's what makes it easy and comfortable for me. Um, number five, what's your worst makeup slash hair habit? Um, I would say that I do touch my hair a lot. Um, probably more in real life and now I was self-conscious so I touched my hair. Number six, one quote that you wish the world would live by. Definitely, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. Um, there are so many times that, you know, even people that like comment on celebrities or in comments on YouTube, like people can say really mean things and it's like, would you want somebody to say that to you like wouldn't that hurt your feelings so definitely um, think about how another person feels and definitely you know the whole walk a mile in somebody's shoes and it's maybe because I'm a sociology major that I'm just really fascinated with like you know other people and their experiences but you know our experiences are what makes us individuals not everyone has the same experience throughout life I mean obviously everyone is different so different people react differently to other things and um, to take that into consideration so definitely take people's feelings into consideration um, number seven how long do you spend getting ready every day um, including a shower I would say an hour um, without a shower I would say maybe 30 to 40 minutes um, and that's if I'm like, you know, putting on makeup and if it's 
something like I have to run out the door for a quick errand, it'll be maybe like 10 minutes. Um, number eight, your favorite video on YouTube. I can't decide a favorite video. Um, I, I mean, I love organizational videos, um, like makeup storage and even like what's in my purse videos because I feel like that's, you know, people organize their purses differently. Um, uh, definitely music, um, and those cute videos, like little kittens and puppies. I just, I love that. Um, number nine, a YouTuber that you watch who deserves more views slash subscribers than they have. There are so many YouTubers that I wish would just like rush into my head right now, but definitely one that comes to mind is 02 Maria A and she um makes beauty and fashion videos and i just i love her style she always buys great things that i look at and i'm like i need to go to like h&m or american eagle right now because everything that she buys i always love and she has a great style and she's always very like calm in her videos like she has like a calm voice so whenever i watch her videos i'm calm um so that's definitely one YouTuber that jumps out at me in terms of I want them to A, have more subscribers and B, make more videos, Maria. Um, number 10, one thing you're excited about in the upcoming year. Um, does that mean like the year coming up or the next year or yeah. So I'm going to say just in the future, one thing I'm excited about is opportunities in terms of professional and career wise um, I just graduated and I just started a job so I'm just very excited to you know work full-time and learn more and develop new skills it's just this is a really exciting time in my life and um, I mean I really thank you guys for being there and sharing it with me number 11 your most awkward filming moment and I think this is really appropriate um, because my answer would have already been this answer and it's when people walk in on me filming um my dad just actually walked in and i'm gonna have to edit that out you know when my family just like opens the door and like starts talking and be like hey oh you're filming oh sorry <laughs> um so yeah that's a little bit awkward and i do edit those things out um but yeah or if i um you know drop something or I try to leave those in like if I drop something because it's kind of funny but you know when my family walks in it's kind of like awkward <laughs> um, number 12 how long does it take you to prep for a video um not that long I mean I think the longest is like if I have a haul video or a favorites video just getting everything together and that's maybe like five minutes um, so it doesn't take me that long to prep for a video and I usually to be honest, I usually just sit down and just talk. Um, I mean, I don't prepare what I'm going to say or, you know, I think about what I'm going to say, but I don't, like, rehearse it or anything. Um, number 13, are you wearing pants, jeans, slash skirt right now, or are you actually wearing pajama bottoms? And I'm actually wearing a dress, but I have worn pajama bottoms or shorts or something, like, you know, regular kind of... You know regular clothes on the top and just loungy clothes on the bottom because all you see is shoulders up so I have been guilty of just wearing pajama bottoms number 14 what are you most proud of in your life Ugh, so much like I said this is an incredibly exciting time I mean I graduated college and I'm starting you know full-time working so it's just a really it was nerve-wracking and now that things have kind of settled down it's exciting and definitely you know I'm proud of my accomplishments in terms of graduating and graduating with a high GPA so I'm definitely proud of that but beyond that I'm proud of to have incredible people in my life um, I mean I can be as excited as I want to graduate and start a new job and everything but I would not be here and I would not be I would not be here without a support system like I have and I'm so so thankful for that I mean 
I have incredible friends and family and you guys I mean when I made my graduation video and not knowing what my career path is and just exploring that I mean you guys were so encouraging in terms of you know saying that I will find that I mean it's it's not a part of it is you know finding what you're passionate about but it's also that journey of getting there so um, I'm most proud of the people in my life and I am I would not be the person I am if it wasn't for you know the people I love most so yeah um, definitely proud of people that make my life very very happy um, yeah so I think that is it yeah so 14 questions um, I will post the questions in the video description so if you want to do this video definitely definitely do that um, I do tag 02 Maria a because I want her to make more videos so this is definitely a video that I want to see from her and if you do do this video post as a video response because I love seeing video responses and this is a really interesting tag for those that do make videos yeah so thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later